a pens, way to add a color. A way to add color, mm -hmm. indeed. And we add some of our sparkle pens earlier in the day, mm -hmm. but we saved a brand new launch set right for this hour. So this is the first time ever you will have seen our vintage sparkles. And you are going to get a full dozen. This is a 12 piece set. And not only is it sparkle glitter, but you're gonna love the way these look. $49.95 scrapbook month price and three flex payments. Okay, so, so it's this set here, all I've done is, at the bottom here, I've also put the spring, summer, and autumn, mm -hmm. winter for anyone who missed the presentation earlier. This is the brand new set I'm focusing on in this airing though. You get 12 new colors in the collection, and these are those colors. They're those really muted tones here, Alice. So they're, they're really the ones that are super on trend at the moment. Mm -hmm. And you'll see as we start and work with them, some of the different background effects and the different colors that you can achieve working with these. Now, if I take you over and show you some of the samples first, because looking at the little color swatch really doesn't mean anything to you without seeing how you're going to make this work for you. Now, I know there'll be all of the uh, Sparkle Pen enthusiasts out there already watching this. These are the sort of colors that you're going to achieve. Now, if this is the first time you've seen our Sparkle Pens, I think you're going to be blown away by the level of intensity of the sparkle. These are a water-based marker that have sparkle built into to them. So whether you're creating background effects, whether you're coloring in individual stamped elements, whether you're coloring and stamping with these, actually you can use each one of these as your own little ink pads, or you're just using them to add color. These will make you feel like an artist. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight in and show you how to do some things like the color washes, how to start and do some blending. I'm going to show you how to do a background like this. These are the colors are really, really vibrant and intense, but they're that muted color palette, which is just so incredibly on trend. And some of the special effects that you can do with each of these are really incredible. Absolutely, so beautiful. A set of 12 for $49.95. You're gonna be able to do so much with these. But I love the amount of sparkle, okay? Because it really is, instead of just, you know, this crazy, crazy amount of like disco sparkle, it's just like a shimmer that is so beautiful. Do you know, shimmer is a great way. It's what it is, is you've got a fantastic mica powder in here. And the actual mechanism in the pen releases the exact amount of mica at the point at which it releases the actual color. Now look how well I've managed to seamlessly blend from one shade straight into the next one. And as these dry, you'll start and see the sparkle intensify as we move on. So you can see there that sparkle just coming into play. And as it's drying around the edges, the sparkle becomes even more and more intense. The ability to blend them is what is so amazing. I mean, Sarah, it's almost like, like you're, you're using paint, you know? It looks like paint that you're blending, but it's so much easier being able to use it with a marker. It's the, it's the controlled fashion mm -hmm. in which you can work. So we can go straight from one color, blend it straight into the next one, and you can see because it's only releasing exactly the right amount of the sparkle as it releases the actual color in there, you get that perfect blend from one to the next. They're kind of like the seascape effects that you're getting here, but look how fabulous and intense they are. Now you're probably looking and thinking, well, why would I do this? This kind of in this sort of why, why do I just blend from one color to the next where this really starts to come into its own is if we're wanting to do coloring so I'm just going to stamp and because I'm using a watercolor pen mm -hmm. I'm stamping with a stays on ink pad onto a watercolor card now you can really use any type of ink and any type of card but because I don't want to have to heat set this so that I can just go straight live on TV from stamping to coloring I wanted you to be able to see that I was using the stays on pen now watch this, I'm going to go really from one of the very, very deep reds. So I just start with the deep red right in the corner of the flower here. And what I can do is I can take one of those paler colors and just drag out from the red. And you can see how that red is starting to turn into an orange. Okay, then all I would do is clean my brush off to the side and then drag the orange right through to that. It's called Biscuit, this shade, because it is that beautiful, muted kind of orangey, peachy skin tone color. And you can see that intensity Reminds now. Reminds me of Hawaii. If I just <laughs> met, does it look like, There is the one that I just did earlier. Now, as, I, as that's dried, mm -hmm. you can see that sparkle has really, really built up and intensified as we've been going on. So I wanted you to see just kind of how spectacular it could look. This is absolutely incredible. I, I don't care if, if you have zero talent, 
No, oh, it, you don't it, need it, it, like me. Negative talent. Okay, you can do this. It is so simple. It is so easy because it is like coloring. We can do that. Okay, I I, I, mean, I know how to color. But to be the blendability of it, and then Sarah, when it dries, I mean, wow, what an impact. Well, all I'm doing is I'm taking three colors here. So I'm going from a red into a purple, mm -hmm. and then let's go into one of the let's go into the peony there. So three completely different opposing colors. And all I'm going to do is I'm putting those base colours down, Alice, and then I'm going to take a water brush and I'm just going to go literally into some water. So you only need a tiny little bit of water here. Take off the excess and then I'm just going to blend from one straight into the next and straight into the next. And now I've been able to create a perfect blend from one shade into the next. And doesn't that look like incredible? Yeah. Now, I know you're looking at that and thinking, well, well what could I do with that from now? I could just stare at it. Well, it's as so pretty. Like, <laughs> you imagine creating sunsets, for example. And as this starts to dry, that is when it becomes this sort of shade here. Mm. And all we've done with this one is actually then overstamped it with the black silhouette. Isn't that gorgeous? It is gorgeous. Uh, you can think of endless opportunities, whether it's projects, whether you, you're buying those coloring books, we have some available for you mm. on hsn.com. You elevate this to, a, to the penthouse level, okay? You went from the basement all the way to the penthouse with this because it's gonna look so beautiful. But Sarah's so simple. <laughs> I love simple, but I love a big effect. And to get the, the combination of the sparkle, but the blendability and the ease with which you can control it. You know, yes. you don't have to worry about a brush or anything else. Do you want me to because you, you're gripping it, and that's the nice part. You I'll really can you, control it. I'll talk you through the actual pen itself, okay? okay? Because these are the pens, so it tells you on here this is the color. So this is Sea Breeze. And and as I lift the lid off, you'll see that it comes to you. This is the chamber. So in here is where the magic happens. This is where you've got your water-based pigment and you've also got that mica powder. Now the chamber is where the two of them get mixed together so that when it makes it to the brush tip, you are getting the exact right amount of both the glittery sparkle and the actual watercolor pigment coming out at the same time. And it's that watercolor effect that allows these to blend. Now I'm gonna take you through all of the different colors that you get in the collection here. Yeah, because this is what this is where the kind of magic happens in this set. This, we call this the vintage sparkle, brand new for this airing, and it's all about having these muted color palettes, but the designs and colors that are going to really work together and blend together. You've seen me blending just then. I'm going to go into a little bit more blending here because I really think this is what makes these markers unique, but it's the fact that you don't lose the intensity of the sparkle. For example, that one that I just was coloring for you there, can you see as it's dried, look at how we've not lost any intensity in any of the sparkle whatsoever even though those colors have blended seamlessly from a deep red through to a purple through to a fig color i mean you just couldn't even imagine being able to achieve that sort of blend with that sort of cardstock uh, you get 12 of these in those beautiful colors imagine all the different different ways and days that you're going to take these colors and whether you're doing it for a card whether you're doing it you could you could actually I, I could totally see this on canvas i mean it's just so well, simple so easy how much fun are you going to have with these 49.95 just a special price for the month but i will tell you this we have a limited quantity of these and already very very popular how amazing well, every, every time every single thing that you create and you cannot make a mistake with these because of the blendability effect. of them it's it's the fact that even if you're a beginner mm -hmm. and, and so many people alice have picked up on this adult coloring craze because it's it's something that is is really opened up our industry to so many more people watch this so i'm just going to pick a little bit of that uh, red color laying it down, and this is one of the stamps that we've got that is um, like an adult coloring style image. So what we've done is we've taken the uh, adult coloring trend but kind of knocked it up a little level. So we've converted some really specially unique drawn adult coloring images into um, 
basically print your own line art. So you just can stamp your own colors with these and get that perfect blend all around. You can see they're straight from one color, straight into the next. And don't worry about kind of, I, I also say infecting the nib. You can't really infect the nib of one because the more you use it, you can see that same pen is just completely blown out. Mm -hmm. Now, what I do want to explain to you is how you prime the pens when you get them home. Because when the pens first come to you, they're going to come like this and they're going to have this little collar on them, okay? And that's because we want to have them in transit coming to you with, without the chamber being engaged. So all you do is lift off that little collar and you'll see the chamber's all sealed up here now. So once the chambers, once you've taken that collar off, you're going to just squeeze this in here and you hear that chamber break. And then if you take the lid off, you can really screw that on nice and tight. Now, when you get to this stage, what you're gonna do is you're gonna shake it to wake it. So you're gonna shake it sideways, you're gonna rub it between your hands, you're gonna shake it up and down, and you're gonna get, you can hear the little ball bearings. Hey, can hold them all up. up. Hearing the mm -hmm. little ball bearings all going straight and activating all the mica powder together, okay? Once that's activated, now can you see, the actual effect of shaking that has already started to transfer some of the ink down into my nib, and this is really high quality Japanese brush nibs here. And all I'm going to do then is start to engage it by brushing the nib side to side, and then you see there's a little button on the side that says push. You just give that a gentle squeeze and it just enables some of the ink to flow down the chamber, and that's when you get that really beautiful, juicy color effect. See how easy that was to do. So I, want, I wanted you to see, if this is the first time you've worked with the sparkle pens, that is how you engage them. But I'm just gonna keep on coloring here. You I can know, see and you can control the intensity, you can control if you want it light, you can do it any way you want. You know, at $49.95, this is brand new. Nobody else has seen it except for you. We have a special price just for our scrapbook month, in case you didn't know that May was scrapbook month. I bet you did. Well, we're gonna celebrate all month, but this is our biggest party that we're having today. And we're so glad to have you joining us. Three flex payments, $16.65. That goes away at midnight. So if you're even thinking about these, have you got the grandkids company coming for the summer? Can you imagine sitting down with them and coming coloring in a whole different way that just really unleashes your creativity. I mean, takes it to a whole different level. Isn't that incredible? Mm -hmm. And do you know, I, I kind of get lost, Alice, when I start coloring. I've, I've been able to achieve that total ombre effect, and it's that color palette of those muted tones that really does just look so effective when they're blended together. And I've not pre-planned this demonstration. I'm just picking up whichever colors take my fancy to blend them together all in one go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you back over through the samples okay. because I want you to see what it is that when you've got that color palette of colors, what exactly is it you're gonna be doing with these sparkle Gosh, pens? So now, beautiful. for example, this is a beautiful background effect. So all we've done here is actually painted over the background effect with the sparkle pen and then dropped some salt crystals onto it to, to create that beautiful background effect. And then this is one of Sheena Douglas's stamps that I'm sure we have on the website. And all we've done stamped and then colored the little bits around. Now, whether you're doing really bright and bold backgrounds or whether you're wanting to do much more muted shades, you've got all the options there. They're kind of like the sea breeze mm. colors mm -hmm. and the sea breeze effect has been really, really in. I would say for the last season, there's one of those shaped card bases that we had earlier, Alice. Can you see what a difference it makes when you're working with a card that's a unique shape? So it's just kind of showing you how everything works together. Then look at this. I've used these with the clear overlays, which are available as a separate set of three just to be able to have a tiny little bit of color and drag that color right in. Isn't and that we do have a couple of other choices too. Stay in the ordering process for this, but if you want the clear overlays, we also have the clear overlays yep. that are available. They come I can show you those if you want. They mm -hmm. come in a pack of three. Okay. So if you are wanting to do more